Ace of Clay here, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sculpting video. But if you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. So be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Today we're traveling back into the mutant universe and I'm introducing you to the latest character. This creature is actually not a mutant, it's not a hero, and it's not a guide. It's actually one of many creatures just like it that I've named doll faces. These creatures exist in all three realms of the mutant universe, they're in the human realm, the dark realm realm and the darkest realm so they're really not afraid to move around and travel and do what they got to do I'll be telling you all about these things later on in the video so make sure you watch the entire thing so that you don't miss any details in my opinion these are actually the creepiest creatures that I've made so far for this universe I think it's kind of out of my norm it's sort of half animal half human and yeah I'll get I'll get into more of it later but before we get into the video I am just going to remind you one last time about the brand new mutant universe season 2 design that is available on t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases, and more. This is only going to be available for a little bit longer, so if you want it, make sure you get it now because it is never coming back. I know after I discontinued the season one design, I got a ton of emails from people saying, is it still available? How can I get it? Once this is gone, it is gone. So if you want it, you got to get it because like I said, it's never coming back. The link to purchase it is in the description box below and in my merch shelf. Now without further ado, let's get started. All right, we are back in the mutant universe and ready to start on our creature. I've got my aluminum armature wire. I'm going to start shaping out the front and back legs from this. Then I'm going to secure everything with some of the smaller gauged wire. And then we're going to bulk everything out with some super sculpy ultralight. So let's get started. And then of course, as always, all of the materials that you see me use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you want to purchase anything. So the body for this thing is going to be pretty dog-like. At least I'm going to try to go that route. So we're going to just sort of make the armature for a dog to begin with and then we'll sort of just modify it as we go. I think I want to make the legs a little bit longer so we're going to do just that, make them longer. Right now that we have the one side done, I'm going to mirror this, make the exact same thing, but reflected. And then we're going to connect the two spines with some of my other wire. All right, so we have this, which I'm pretty happy with. It's weird looking, definitely different. So we're gonna go ahead and connect the spine. And I'm also going to add another piece of wire here for the neck. And I wanna use wire instead of a skewer just so I can bend it in different directions if I need to, if I decide to later on. Now let's go ahead and bulk out the body with some ultralight. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller too. It's looking a little too big, that sort of breast area there. And then of course, before I add the ultralight, I just wanted to put some bacon bond or oven baked clay adhesive on the wire. This will help the ultralight stick and not slide around. Doll faces are a four-legged species of creatures that live in each realm of the mutant universe. They have a long, thin, dog-like body with hooves on their back legs and a long, single-pointed finger on each front leg. They have a red, androgynous face similar to a porcelain doll with no eyes, surrounded by a thick, unruly black mane. All right, there we go. We've got our body sort of figured out. I'm very happy with where we've landed. I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and I will be right back. All right, now that it's baked and completely cooled down, it's time to start covering it in clay. For this project, I'm using Super Sculpey Original and I'm just gonna apply the clay in these nice even sheets. I got it this way by rolling it through my pasta maker on the thickest setting. Hey 
Hey, it's me again. Don't forget to check out the brand new season two merch that is available right now for a limited time only. You can grab yours at the link below. It is available on mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, and more. And it's got all your favorite mutants from season two. So check it out before it's gone. Now back to the video. All right, now that it's covered in clay, it looks pretty good. Um, I still don't have a complete, like clear direction of how I want this thing to look, but I do know that I want it to be like part fur, part exposed skin. So let's just take that idea and sort of run with it. So I'm gonna start by um, working on the arms and then detailing the feet and getting it to a good point. And then hopefully I like it, and then we can start working on the face and everything. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, now we kind of got this sort of template for the face here. I'm gonna start um, adding the mane of fur around the head and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm, I'm kind of starting to see how this is gonna look and I like the direction we're going. So let's go ahead and add that fur and then go from there. Doll faces are incredibly fast and virtually silent. They are surprisingly intelligent and can read the minds of beings within close reach of them, allowing them to better plan attacks. They are extremely violent and dangerous, although, if they are well fed, attacks are typically rare. Now I'm brushing on some clay softener to smooth the surface a little bit. I like the little dents and bumps here and there. We're gonna keep all of those. To make an extra smooth surface, you can always mix some bacon bond with the clay softener and it'll create a nice layer of smoothness over your surface.
right now that the body is done and nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead, throw this in the oven, and then we'll come back and make her face. Be right back. And now that she's baked and completely cooled down, let's go ahead and make her face. I want it to be, of course, you know, very doll-like, very kind of like idealistic mannequin face type of look. So let's go ahead and do that now. First, I wanna add some bacon bond so that the clay sticks really well. Doll faces can walk on all four legs or stand upright. Males tend to stand upright, and females tend to walk on all fours. There are no other distinguishing characteristics, as both genders are virtually identical in appearance. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shape out the bottom lip and the chin as one piece and then I'm going to attach it and I'm going to give her this sort of marionette look so I think that will kind of enhance the creep factor a little bit still keeping with the doll theme but she'll have that like the lines next to her bottom lip that would allow her mouth to open and close. All right, there we go, she's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead, pop her in the oven, and then come back and paint. Be right back. All right, now that she's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paint. All the paints that I'm using are Folk Art brand matte acrylics. Let's get started with the body. Now I think I wanna do like a dark brown body with black fur. So let's start with the dark brown and then work our way to the black, and then we'll do her face and we'll be good to go. Doll faces speak with a voice that sounds as if a robotic male voice has been overlaid atop a robotic female voice. They speak softly and slowly, with a soothing tone that often relaxes the listener.
Doll faces can travel in packs or alone. When in packs, the largest one is typically the leader, and all others submit to their will, hunting for them and completing various tasks. If approached by a doll face, do not panic as attacks are rare. Simply make conversation and hope for the best. And it's done! The first doll face is complete. Let me know what you think of her in the comments. Like I said in the intro, this is definitely, I think, in my opinion, the creepiest creature that's in the mutants universe so far. I know we've got some pretty scary looking mutants, but I just think these things are really weird. And the thought of like a bunch of them coming at you and hiding in the dark, I think they're cool and I like them. So let me know what you think of them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Ace of Clay. I'm also on TikTok. Check me out there and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.